right, I'm back at my honey hole. Been hadn't been here in months, and back home visiting my father for Father's Day. They've organized their clearance aisle a lot better. Look, they're on sale for three dollars each. I'll scan one in a minute just to make sure, but maybe it'll be cheaper. Uh, Bionicle garbage. This is just hanging here, a fun pack. I got it some clearance. But you know what? It won't hurt to scan it, will it? It might come up a dollar. Here's something in the clearance section which I know is not on clearance, but you know what? I'll put it in here, we'll just scan it and see. So just letting you see what I have. I haven't done a brick second in a while in a long time. Plenty of Star Wars on sale. I don't know what the regular price is on those. Uh, Bionicle, Tim, no. Y'all let me know if I'm missing something. 45 from Ninjago. There's always that possibility that some of this stuff will be actually more cheaper. That's not bad. I think I've got a couple of those to part out back home. $30. I'll scan it and double check. And that's not too bad right there either, but I've already parted those out. $30 for Heart Lake City Pool. That's been opened and retaped. So, not on that. Now, these have been sitting here forever. These turtle layers. I'm not getting it, but I've been waiting for them to get a 50. And they've been they were here last time I was here, which was four, five, six months ago, if not more. That's not, oh man, I thought it was gonna be on sale. I'll rescan it and see. And the great it was cheaper than 49. But all that stuff I'm just throwing my bug. I'm gonna go find the scanner over there and test them out and see. Cause you never can tell. Ah, uh, Chima, look everybody. Oh, more Chima. Chima. Okay, I don't see anything else, so let's walk over to the scanners and test out the prices. Come along with me. I don't know how long this video is going to end up being, but... And this is my hometown Walmart. You see the Lego section starts down there to here. Just the guys, the boy stuff. And then appear down to there. So they got it in, got a good selection here. But prices will be normal retail price forever. And stuff kind of sits down on the shelf and out in ages. And then when they get in the mood, they finally start marking stuff down. Here we go. This is going to be loud. Okay. You go back on the shelf. Let's test out Monster Foods. Three dollars. Not crazy about that price. This is the Superman setup. Full price. Alright, let's try the Superman set. Ooh, that could be a good thing. It's not coming up in the... But since it's got a sticker on it, they're gone. Key it in, it's 49.
Ultra Agent. Come on. Come on. Got a loaf of bread and an Xbox card. Alright, so let's scan and see if we just see any marked cheap. Ooh, let's see what this rings up over here. For some reason, I think I've seen this coming up on sale. And they do Starfighter. <laughs> you see that? Do you see that? Thirteen dollars. Heck yeah, boy. Oh, here's some more clearance stuff. Look. Awesome. Look out here. This should be two fifty. Hey, <laughs> yeah, baby. I like it a cheaper level. I like it a cheaper level. Asking this associate for assistance while I want to do that. That man. Let's see if he wants to go. Heck yeah, baby. Who's up here? Oh, Commander Cody. Let's see if you're on sale. Well, I will take you too. Daddy. Let's see who's up here. That'll be easy. Five dollars. I'll take you. I think I'm gonna set these two down for a minute. I don't think we get those. As I start scanning stuff and finding out it's on sale. Let's just try some of these other Ninjago packs. Probably won't work. I've been dying for a brick stack in the wild video. You don't have one now. It probably goes 30 minutes in it. Let's see. I wish this one would be on sale here. This is the kind of set though that will sit here forever before they mark it down. Yep. Do to do to do. Do to do to do. Go down the other end just if you see anything on the other side. And I'm gonna dig. That's a new set up there. Let's look at this resistance. Oh, and there's another Nabu fighter for $13. How'd I miss? See, I'm gonna have to dig in a minute. What do y'all think about this one? Craig with 39. Just look at the draw, just grab and scan. Hmm. Disney figs. Raptor Rampage. That has been sitting here forever. Thought they would have sold that. Alright. 
Looks like that's it for right here. So I'm gonna turn the camera off for a minute. I'll let you know if I find anything else. I'm gonna dig with both hands and scan, and I'll check back with you in just a minute. Alrighty, I'm gonna shoot this video to kind of recap the brick stacking in the wild. Uh, show you what I got. I didn't get a whole lot during that day. Um, I haven't shot one of these in a while. Uh, so I was happy to find a few deals at this store. This was my old honey hole. Went back home uh, for Father's Day, and this has been a couple of weeks ago. So just now getting around to editing the video. As you can see, I'm wearing the brightest orange shirt humanly possible. So I hope it didn't hurt your eyes in the video. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at what I, I did get. Um, I got two of these Naboo fighters. Uh, 75092, 442 pieces. Uh, these were $13 each. Uh, great price uh, for 442 pieces. And not counting the droids, where well, you can't already do That's four good figs in there. And then those droids. So I got two of those. Here's a second one. I think that gives me four now to part out. <coughs> these were on the top shelf. They weren't on the regular shelf, so they pulled them from their normal spot on the shelf and stuck them up high, which was okay for me. Uh, I found two of each. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, whether I'm going to pour them out or not, but 75109, Obi-Wan Kenobi. These build of figs uh, These were $5 a piece, if I'm not mistaken. It, I don't mean to go back against what I said in the video, uh, but it's just been a couple weeks since I can remember. So, And I got two of the Commander Cody. Um, that is 75108, and I believe it was the same price. Either it was five or seven dollars. Don't hold me to it, but they were real cheap. So probably just gonna stick them in the store sealed unless I can find a couple more to part out. Um, those parts, I'm not gonna tell you guys that they don't sell. It's just they're slow movers. So I mean, I've got stuff. I've been doing this over three and a half years or three years and some months now, and I'm still selling some of the first Bionicle and uh, type sets that I parted out. That inventory sat in my store for three years. So uh, anyway, got those four. And let's see. I think the rest of this is going to be hot wheels. I'll save that for a different video. And stuff's dropping everywhere. And then I found two of the Arijitsu Wrath Flyer. Uh, these are two or three bucks, I believe. I had to look back at the video. but And what I'll do on these for a quick part out, I'll get basically everything that's on the back of this thing the glow-in-the-dark elements uh, the minifig and the accessories and I'll put those in my store everything else I give away uh, in my freebies so and to get a freebie it's just you buy twenty dollars worth of stuff in my store and you get a freebie bag with uh, parts or minifigures in it <coughs> excuse me All right. and then I found this one set 76010 and I'll probably just keep this one sealed the box is not in bad shape, and I think this one was $5. Um, and I'm, I'm probably just going to list this sealed and put it in my store. Uh, it's got the Penguin and the Scuba Batman in it. Uh, so, anyway, I don't want to part out just one, and the box is in decent shape, so I'll just put it in my store sealed. So be looking for that if you're interested. Uh, that's it for this haul and uh, Brick Stack in the Wild. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I don't get to do a whole lot of them anymore because I'm... I'm <laughs> I'm not going to show you what all I have stockpiled, but it's unreal. Uh, I don't want to go there and show everybody. Um, I've got two stockpiles of stuff, and I've got to whittle my way down through it. I got to the case, I think, uh, when Clutch got started. I was doing the same thing we were doing. I was buying everything I could find on clearance and on sale. And he had Mount Clutch more, and I had uh, just a huge pile. Moved twice with that huge pile. Um, I don't want to add to it other than if it's just ones or twos that I know that I find like really really cheap like this I'm not ordering tens and twenties of anything right now until I get those filtered down I've got a huge stockpile of stuff to go through uh, I'm ashamed to kind of say how much I'm sitting on uh, it takes it's one person parting out my son helps me a little bit but I've just got to the point where I bought so much that it's more than what I can process in a timely manner so that's why you haven't seen a whole lot of brick stacking in the wild and a whole lot of haul videos lately is because basically I just don't shop for it anymore. I've got so much to do. I'm so backed up. I do have some other stuff to record some videos on that I've bought and just sat in the corner up there. Uh, it's just finding the time and the motivation to shoot the video and get it done uh, when I have to, you know, compared to pulling orders and putting stock up, that's what I'm saying. But anyway, just kind of let you know where I was at with that. I'm not done with brick stacking in the wild. Um, I'm just in a different region and uh, the demographic area I'm in now. 
is a totally different than the one I was in. And those stores where I used to live where we'd stockpile Lego for two or three years, sit on the shelf, and then finally come around one time a year to a huge markdown, and that's when you'd see me do these killer brick stacking in the wild. Now, <clears throat> they've gotten a little smarter and started um, not selling, uh, stocking as much, I believe, when I talked to the toys manager. Last time I was at home, they told me the new manager was hired, and they've kind of cut back on how much they've ordered, uh, and they've cut back on how many times a year they do clearance uh, in the toys, specifically Lego. Uh, so we'll see how that works out for the future. But in my area here, locally, I mean, I've got, you know, two Walmarts and then 35 miles of each other. One's horrible. One's pretty decent, but they never put anything on sale. Um, I'm just I'm limited on ge geography where I'm at physically. Dude, but like in the wild. Where I used to go out of town, an hour drive, hour and 15 minute drive is now two and a half hours to that honey hole or shopping ground. And, and it's hard for me to justify driving two and a half hours to maybe find a deal uh, and then pay for the gas and time that I, you know, it's five hours on the road just by itself, not counting driving around in that huge town looking for stuff. But anyway, that's kind of where I'm at on Brick Stack in the Wild. Um, I know that it's one of the favorites on my channel and I can keep, I plan to keep doing them when I can actually have something to show you. Because if I run into my Walmart here, who, which only a half of one side of an aisle is Lego, It'd be a one minute video and you just hear me complaining because there's nothing there um so that's why that's where it's at so but i appreciate y'all watching like and subscribing and sharing and i hope you enjoyed this video um until next time y'all continue to stack those bricks peace out